Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a McDonald's style cheeseburger. And the purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is to meal prep at home, especially when you are having those fast food cravings. So instead of going out and getting something that's unhealthy or not good for you, you can just make this at home very easily. And as you can tell, it's not like you're going to be sacrificing any taste or any flavor. These patties are going to be juicy, thick, very delicious, very filling. And I can almost guarantee you that when you take a bite of this hamburger, you're not going to be able to taste the difference between this and something that you would have on the street. And more importantly, I also created this video um, with different variations. So in case you are doing something like a extremely low carb or keto, I'm going to show you how to make that variation. If you're doing a lower carb to medium carb, I'm going to show you how to make that variation. And same if you are doing a higher carb approach. But even then, if you are doing or you choose to do the higher carb option here, it's going to be way more optimal and healthier for you than something that you would find at a fast food place just because it's going to be higher protein, it's going to be more filling for you, and overall it's going to have less calories and it's going to be more nutritious. So let's just get straight to it. So I have all the ingredients that you're going to need here, and this is just for the patties and the flavoring. I'll show you how to do the different variations here in just a moment. So with what you have here, you're going to be able to make four eight ounce patties and each patty is going to be about 35 grams of protein and that is a really good serving because that is very good for somebody that is trying to lose weight or even build muscle. And more importantly, because anytime that you cook uh, lean ground beef, you lose about an ounce. Uh, so that's going to be about six and a half to seven ounces when cooked. And speaking of, our main ingredient is going to be lean ground beef. And you're going to need two pounds of the 93.7 or the 96.4. And the next ingredient is going to be the cheese. Just make sure that you find a low calorie cheese. The Velveeta slices like this one, they're 35 calories. They are a great choice for this particular type of meal. For your vegetables, you're only going to need half an onion, hamburger pickles. For your condiments and seasonings, you're gonna need yellow mustard. Then you're gonna need either the sugar-free ketchup or the 50% less sugar ketchup, which is the one I have here black pepper, garlic salt, and if you want to add even more flavor, I would highly recommend some liquid smoke. All right, so the first step is going to be to get your meat ready, and all you're going to do is you're going to put the two pounds of the lean ground beef in a container. You're going to add a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of liquid smoke, and a little bit of the next ingredient. So now you're going to chop your onions as small as you possibly can. If you have one of those vegetable cutters that already does that for you, even better, but you want to make sure that you're cutting the onions as small as possible. If I had to compare it to one thing, I would say try to make it almost as small as grains of rice. Like try to make it super small so that you can get that flavor that those McDonald's cheeseburgers have. And we're going to add about half of this onion to the ground beef and we're going to mix it. We're going to save the rest for the hamburger itself or for the patty when it's done. For the next step, we're just gonna prepare the eight ounce patty. So make sure that you have your food scale with you ready. So again, this whole serving here should give you about four eight ounce patties. Next, you want to cook your patties and the best way to do it is you want to cook each side for about four minutes on high and then just let them cook like that for about four minutes. So it's going to be a total of about 12 minutes. Now during this time, this is when you can prepare the other ingredients, which is going to be the different variations. And again, I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, so for the first variation, we're going to try to mimic the actual hamburger itself. So you need to get some hamburger buns. But in this particular case, just like the cheese, you have to do a little bit of due diligence and see what buns are gonna be the lowest calories. So in this case, the store brand was the best one. This is only 100 calories per buns. And trust me, I saw ones that were up to 190 to 200 calories. So little things like that make a big difference. Now, if you're gonna do this variation with the buns, one thing that I would highly recommend is heat them up in a skillet. Don't do them in a toaster because it's gonna give you a different type of consistency. And it's pretty simple, really. You're just gonna put the patty on the bun. Then you're gonna add your chopped onions, pickles, and on the other bun, you're gonna add the ketchup and mustard. Now, here's a little trick. If you want your hamburger to have a little bit of that fast food flavor, I don't know if anybody can relate to what I'm saying exactly. Um, what you wanna do before you eat it is you wanna wrap it in aluminum foil for about five to 10 minutes so that you can let the heat trap and, let, and the flavors just kinda soak in there. And trust me, if you do this, it's gonna taste a lot better. And I think this is why fast food can taste a little extra special is because anytime you're about to eat it, they're already wrapped in some type of bag. And so the flavor gets trapped in there and it just tastes a little bit better. Again, I might be crazy, but I definitely think this is gonna add more flavor to your hamburger.
For the next variation, we're simply gonna do some salty hash browns. And you don't have to do anything special, you can just get the pre-made uh, bags that are at the grocery store. And you're just gonna need a cup and a half, where you, again, if you're meal prepping, you're doing this variation, you wanna do more. And you're simply just gonna put them in the air fryer and the however crispy or not crispy you want them, that's up to you. So in this case, I do wanna have them a little bit extra crispy. Once they're done, we're just gonna add a little bit of ketchup and you can have your patty on the side once the hash browns are done. Now, if you are doing some type of uh, bodybuilding diet or you can eat more carbs, then of course you can combine the two. But what I would recommend is if you're gonna do one or the other, you can always do like a double cheeseburger so you can have more meat, but you don't wanna double the carbs if you're doing that. So again, this is just in case, um, if you wanna do both the hash browns and the bun, this is more in case you are keeping track of your macros, it fits with your calories, or if you're trying to build muscle. But again, if you're gonna do either the buns or the hash browns, then you can do a double cheeseburger and do two patties. And of course, if you're doing keto, you can do the fattier uh, ground beef, or you can do an avocado on the side. But this version right here is gonna be for somebody that is doing keto, or somebody that is doing a more of a high fat and really low carb approach. And once again, keep in mind that you can always change the variations. You can add more hash browns, less, you know, do, do two buns, do more vegetables, more avocados, whatever you want to do. I'm just teaching you how to do like the main ingredient, which is the cheeseburger patty and the things that add the flavor to it. So again, you can always customize it based on your needs and what you're trying to accomplish.